Hey everyone, how's it going? So with the new Doctor Strange 2 movie coming out, I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to draw one of the villains from the movie, and that is Gargantos. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Gargantos, we're going to begin with the eye. I'm going to begin right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down. We're going to go over and then up. Starting here, we're going to draw a line that comes down. And right here, you want to make another line that's going to come down. Starting here, let's make a line that goes down, and then it's going to come up. You can see it's kind of like a football shape. Right here, we're going to make a nice big curved line and a smaller curved line right here so we can see where his eyeball is. Right here we're going to make a little circle and I'm going to color this mostly in leaving just a little white dot in here. Just to kind of show where his pupil is going to be. Starting here, let's make lines going to go down and up. And we'll make another one here, and I'm going to break this one apart so we have a little space in there for a little bit of detail. I'm going to add a couple right around the top of the eye here, and a couple more kind of broken lines. Now he's going to have a lot of different like little spikes coming out of here. So to do this, we're just going to draw some little pointed spikes that come out right along the bottom of the eye. So we're just going to draw some of these, kind of like long skinny V shapes. We're going to put these all around here. And he's going to have some bigger ones right along the top. So we're going to make some taller ones right along here. So these are going to be kind of like upside down V's. We want to make them different sizes. You can see I'm putting some a little bit lower, some a little bit higher, just to kind of give them a little bit of balance in here, make them look like some are closer, some are farther behind as well. So we're just going to make some of these all around here. And I'll put one more right up here. Now, right around here, I'm going to add just a couple more of these smaller V-shapes in here. We'll draw a little line that's just going to kind of connect these. A little bit curved. We'll leave a little space here, and we're just going to kind of connect some of these. They don't have to be perfect or anything. Now, right in here, he's going to have these little tentacles that are going to be coming out underneath him. So we're just going to draw some little wavy lines, and we're just going to follow that same shape and bring them back. I'll start this next one over here. We want to make these kind of going all different directions, and we're just going to bring this right back to there. Make another one back here. No right or wrong way on how you want to do this. Just make them really kind of wavy, kind of making them go all over the place. One of the problems that some people have is they start making these all the same direction, and then it looks just a little bit kind of cartoony or just not very natural. So that's why we want to kind of make these go different directions, go opposite ways. I'll do another one right here. And you can see I'm making them really skinny at the end, and then they get a little bit fatter as they come back. Now, our next step is we want to add some of the great big tentacles that he has, and he does have a lot of them. We're not going to put a ton of them in here, but we're just going to put a few. So I'm going to start one of the tentacles right here. So I'm going to make a big line that's just going to kind of curve down, and I'm going to curve in like this. Next, I'm going to draw this line up, and I'm going to bring this up, and then we'll slowly kind of bring it back down. Next, we're going to bring this back around, 
and up to here. And you can see it's a little bit skinnier at the end, and it's a little bit bigger as it comes back. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to draw one that's going to go up, and then it's going to come down to here. We'll add a little bit more of a curve, and then we're just going to bring this all the way back up to here. And we'll go ahead and connect it here. Now, starting up here, I'm going to add some little lines that go up and then kind of down, just so we can kind of see where the back of Gargantos is going to be. We're going to make another tentacle that's going to come out here. Kind of curve it down. We're going to bring this out. And then we're going to bring it back around here. Make another one that's going to come up here. We're going to bring it down. We'll make it kind of jump out of here. And we'll bring it out back here. We'll just slowly bring it back. I'm going to make a little curve here, and then a line's going to come down. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come down. We're going to kind of jump right in between these smaller little tentacles, and then we're going to curve it back here. We're just going to bring it right back in there. Starting here, I'm going to make another little line that's going to go up, and we're going to bring this down. I'm going to make a little line that's going to come out here and back. And we're going to make a little line that's going to curve around, and another one's going to come right back here. Just to kind of show that his tentacles are kind of going all over the place. Now we have kind of a basic shape of Gargantos. Now we want to come in here and add some of the different details. So starting up here right by the eye, I'm going to add a couple of these little lines. They're going to go right along there. I'm going to add just a couple kind of little broken lines right around the body here just to show where there's like some wrinkles and a little bit of texture. So it just kind of creates a little bit of separation between the body and the tentacles. Now one of the cool things with tentacles is wherever there's a curve, sometimes I like to add an extra little line in here, and that just makes it look a little bit more realistic, kind of makes it flow and move a little bit better too. Starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down, and it's going to run right to the bottom. And this one, I'm going to follow this one, and I'm just going to bring this down to here. And I'm going to add some big kind of oval shapes on here. And these are just going to be like the suction cups on the bottom of the tentacles. So I'll put some there. I'll make another row of them right here. And we'll even make some of them kind of pop off the edge here as well for a little bit of detail. We'll do that same thing over here. We're just going to add some of these different little oval shapes. Just to kind of make some different like little suction cups. We can make some pop off and some actually be on there as well. I'm going to add a little dot in the middle of some of them just to make it look like it's a little bit more realistic. So we're just going to add a little bit of detail inside of there. We'll add another little line right back here too. And we'll make some more of these little circular shapes with a little dot in there too. Just kind of break it up a bit. I'm also going to put some of these right along the bottom as well for a little bit of detail. Just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to make some kind of long broken lines running right along the tentacles as well. 
This is just to give them a little bit of texture and detail. So I'm just making these kind of long, broken lines on here. We're going to put some right along the back, too. So we're just going to add some of these all along here. Really however you want to. I also like to add some little lines going up and down, too. Just just makes it a little bit rounder looking, gives it a little bit of detail. And then you can always come in here and add a little bit of detail on some of these little spikes and everything. And add a few extra little lines and stuff right around there. And there you go, there is your drawing of Gargantos from the new Doctor Strange 2. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy.